Hi. Since this year you weren't able to come to story time at, cut at our pumpkin patch, we thought we would bring story time to you. So this, today I'm going to read you a Halloween story that you may have heard before, and it is called The Little Old Lady Who Is Not Afraid of Anything. So sit back and enjoy. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One day, the little old lady left her cottage and she went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark and there was only a sliver of the moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path, there were two big shoes, and the shoes went clomp, clomp. Get out of the way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked down the path, but behind her, she could hear two shoes go clump, clump. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear a pair of two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Still farther, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went Shake, shake, get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked, but a little bit faster. Behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, a pair of pants go wiggle, 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 a, a shirt go shake, shake, shake. A little way on, ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm, I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked, but just a little bit faster. And behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, a pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, a shirt go shake, shake, two gloves go clap, clap, and one hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, a very orange, a very scary pumpkin head. And the head went, boo, boo. This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. She ran all the way home, and behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, a pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt go shake, shake, two gloves go clap, clap, a tall black hat go nod, nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. The little old lady 
did not look back. She just ran as fast as she could. She didn't even stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked. It was so nice and quiet in her cottage before she heard knock, knock on the door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything, so she went to the door and she opened it. And what do you think she saw? She saw two shoes go clomp, clomp, a pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt go shake, shake, two gloves go clap, clap, one hat go nod, nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And she said it so bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what is to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked very unhappy. I have an idea, said the little old lady, and she whispered into the pumpkin head's ear. The pumpkin's head nodded, and his face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night and closed the door, and she whistled on her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early and she went to the window and looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? She saw two shoes go clomp, clomp, a pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt go shake, shake, two gloves go clap, clap, one tall hat go nod, nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. And they scared all the crows away. The end. Thank you for joining me as we read this book. See you next time.